Alright, so my name is Alex Weber, and I am 20 years old. I am a public relations major at Rowan University in South Jersey. Um, and I just, I'm your normal college kid. I go to class, get fucked up on the weekends, and then hope that I wake up Monday. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I'm not here to talk about, though. I'm here to talk about... The recent changes in the music industry and how bands have completely changed. So I was watching a few videos on YouTube earlier in anticipation for the new Red Hot Chili Peppers album that actually came out yesterday, which I'm going to purchase today. Anyway, I was watching some old school videos. I was watching Can't Stop, which is an awesome song. Danny California, which came back in like 2006, I think. Anyway, there are some of my favorite songs ever. So on the sidebar, it said, you might like these tunes also. And I'm like, all right, you know, maybe I'll check it out. So it was this band called The Ready Set. I've gone to Warp Tour for the past five years, and I've seen them there before. I've never really listened to them because I give a fuck less. I mean, I'm not going to see The Ready Set. I'm going to see, like, A Day to Remember or... Back in 07, I go see All Time Low, other screamo bands that I used to listen to that I really don't listen to anymore. It's besides the point. Anyway, so I gave them a chance. I listened to this song called Young Forever, and it sucked. It was fucking pathetic. I swear, I don't know how some of these bands get their music out on the market for people to see. I mean, obviously, their age group, I think, probably is like, young teens i don't think anybody my age actually listens to them and if they do i'm sorry but that you have terrible taste in music if you listen to them anyway uh, but it made me realize how much this has changed over the past three years it's started since all time low came out with their album weightless i think that's the name of the album i know that's the lead song on it but um that song damned if i do you damned if i don't I mean, before that, they were an awesome band. They were punk. Pop punk. And I love listening to them. I love going to shows, seeing them live. I had such a good time at those shows. And now when I listen to them, I'm just kind of like, this is not the old Oton low that I used to listen to back in 06 and 07. Completely changed. Media destroyed them. Now there's some gay-ass pop band that... Only little preteen bitches listen to. And it's just not the same. Like, I listened to one of their songs, I think it was called Dirty Work. That shit sucked. That's pathetic. That's not music. That's trash. It's just really sad to see how the music industry has changed. And I wish it would go back to, like, the good old days. Back in, like, the early 2000s, the late 90s. When you got New Found Glory, Blink-182, Red Hot Chili Peppers just leading it all. But now it's these gay bands. I mean, it's coming back that I see this band called The Wonder Years, who has become one of my favorite bands. They're bringing back the pop punk genre, which is awesome, along with Man Overboard and Transit. They're getting their way back up to the top. I think, in all honesty, the screamo age is dying, because who wants to listen to that crap anymore? We're all older now. We're not into that shit. I mean, sure, it's cool sometimes. I mean, when you go into a mosh pit, see some guy got the living shit beat out of him. But it's kind of scary. And I'm not into all that stuff anymore. Like, look at me. That's not muscle. That's just fucking skin covering my bones. But anyway, I, I think what I'm trying to tell you, the YouTube world, is that the media has destroyed good music. And they're bringing in music now that is just ass and it sucks and that nobody wants to listen to anymore but whatever it's not my choice but i'm just ranting on this and you really should pay attention because over time you'll see how much the industry has changed and as a public relations and advertising major and i read a bunch of books and magazines about the media and everything it really speaks to me and see and i can see how everything is been different over the past few years anyway i'm gonna leave you with that and i guess give me a couple days i'll think of something else to rant about 
and we'll get on with life, and I'll be sweet. Phenomenal. All right. Gonna go to the Bobby's Burger Palace right now and get a Buffalo burger, so peace out, guys.